Thanks for joining me again. This video is dedicated to how I finished up mounting my bolt screw and assembling my Y gantry. I used my plasma again to cut out the gantry pieces that I needed to drill holes in and mount in the linear bearings and the bolt screws. I also cut some pieces to add for spacers for where my motor's mounted and drilled holes to mount them to the 2 inch tubing. Here is a template that I 3D printed and used to drill all the holes in the two side pieces. In this part, I have already taken my measurements, I've mounted my little 3D printed pillow block, and now I am drilling as straight as I can, straight up through the two inch tube. So I have three holes in the pillow block. I used the middle screw indented a little bit to put it in place. And then the other two screws on each side of the pillow block will hold the pillow block nice and tight to that two inch. So here's that tapping stuff that I used with my taps to go a whole lot smoother when I've tapped all these holes in this two inch tube. So as you notice, this isn't the greatest spot to have a manual tap. So I worked it back and forth quite a bit, tried to do my best to keep it at a 90 degree angle. But uh, this is a little time consuming. I did three holes for each side. So I uh, only tortured you a little bit with watching me do this one. Now my initial thought was to use larger tubing. So when I had to go with two inch tubing, it kind of changed the way I designed the pillow block holder. So I have two screws all the way through to the metal tabs, and then I have this third screw that's just held to the pillow block. But it's very strong and there doesn't seem to be any movement at all in either pillow block on each side of each ball screw.
Now mounting this motor was quite challenging. I first started out figuring out what would be square as it was mounted to the bracket and that's why I chose the spacer I did. But I had to put holes in there. Now I've mounted with a couple clamps to try to keep that as straight as possible and then of course I drilled and tapped the tube above. So here I've mounted up the gantry Y on the bearings and I'm using a little 3D printed blue plastic piece to kind of simulate what it would take to connect to the ball screw. And then cut a piece out with the plasma cutter, clean it up with the grinder. Now I'm screwing it in to the ball screw mount. Now I'm working on making it level so that when I weld it up it will be a nice straight 90 degree angle. So here I realized I wasn't exactly straight or something was vibrating the table quite a bit. After investigating more I realized I had a kind of a U shape going on where the ball in the middle and their widest points were kind of you know going up on each side. So I 3D printed out some spacers just to kind of size it and then I put those in place and as you can see by my hand movement it is so much smoother when it's nice and straight. Well, for my next video, I plan on working on the x-axis that goes across the gantry.